inside blue line, backhand pass across, seen the cross. Here's Aliardi, backhand shot, he scores. And for the second night in a row, the Rapid City Rush find a goal on the opening shot of the game. This one, 29 seconds in. Alex Aliardi, he leads the series in points. He has 15 now. Uh, you just cannot get beat off of the edge like that. That's just way too easy. Getting beat off of the right side with no back check ability here right now for the Oilers. That's a flat, flat start, and it has cost the Oilers right out of the gate. As there's uh, there's there's skating backwards and, and there's checks assists or uh, a shot here and a score. It's a one-one game with six and a half minutes left in the opening frame. And we just talked about it. It's Blazak with the goal coming back, but Ethan Stewart coming back into the lineup once again, finding a way to help that play out. Oh, ask uh, one of the greatest broadcasters of all time, Doc Emmerich, uh, how you can describe the movement of a puck. There's about a trillion ways, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Certainly, at least in his book. Uh, but the way I would describe that is just... Back in and around centering feed. They shoot and they score. Jimmy Soper picks up the primary assist. And with 3.16 left in the opening frame, it's a 2-1 rush lead. Well, Soper wins the track meet all the way back to the end wall to get to the puck. Saprika tries to shoulder Soper off of the puck, uh, but is unsuccessful in eventually retrieving that. And that's a puck. Circle of their own end, the rush head up ice. Slaloming through center, eventually pulled in by Nelson. He'll send it over right side. Yamamoto up top. Zulsdorf a shot. He scores. Might have caught a deflection, I believe. I that think we it might did. have a look at it for sure. And uh, Manella adamant that this puck was deflected above the crossbar. Uh, uh, but it, it's going to be a close one. I think it will warrant a look for sure. But uh, I don't know. I, I didn't necessarily see anything wrong with it initially. Back behind his cage, looking up ice, his leader, he'll find his man. Marcinou, top of the circle, drop pass, picked up. Marcinou back door, he scores. Four on four goal, and that's a three goal advantage for the rush. It's a 4-1 score in favor of Rapid City. Well, just no structure here from the Oilers at all on this play. I mean, everybody's bunched up, and anybody can skate anywhere. They Close to a 60, per, uh, excuse me, a 40% shot percentage at four on 11 and with that they found their fifth on the 12th and now they are at that 40 percent mark well manella gives up this short side goal uh, with just a little bit uh, of a lazy pad positioning uh, here is that puck has no business going that in. is that's yeah that's not a goal that should be going in the echl that's for no sure doubt and daniel manella just a tough and sharp here as of late as is chucked in to the Rapid City zone, a shot, they score! In the back of the net. Less than a minute in the back half of the game. And it's another goal for the Oilers. And with that, Ethan Stewart has a two-point game. Uh, you had mentioned he is a, a kind of a firecracker when he comes back into the lineup after an extended timeout of it. And he has some of his best games right out of the gate when re-entering the lineup. And Stewart, he'll find it. Back across, shot by Hilderman, they score. It's another power play goal, and the Oilers have a couple of unanswered tallies. It's a 5-3 game with 7-32 left here in the second. Now well, Jared Hilderman's got a goal in back-to-back -back 9 one Tulsa Knights Woo. here now as he had one last year, and he's got one this year just as well, Jared Hilderman. Here's right circle, Sheriff, centering feed, back in, it's in the back of the net. Another goal found by this line. It's less than five minutes into the third period. It pulls the game within one. And who else but the man that is the reigning ECHL player of the week. He is now on a five game point streak. Highest of the season, four game goal streak. It's not just a collection by Dante Sheriff, but it's the quick, quick, Mental no in his man back low a shot goal out of sh chance is blocked a long chance and it goes in it's a 190 foot empty netter delivered all the way back down and that makes the task harder but not impossible and the man that sent it it's Yamamoto.
Yeah, Yamamoto, he served the penalty and he comes out and he finishes off the job for Rapid City here for the time being. And it's just a tough one there because the shot, 